Hey everyone, it's Sharon at Scraggy Makers. We are getting ready to take all of our chicks out of the brooder and put them into their new home out here in the pasture. Look at how beautiful it is out here. It's also stinking 90 something degrees at five o'clock in the evening, so I'm hot and um, I wanna get out of this heat. So we're gonna do this as quickly, efficiently, and stress-free for the chicks as possible. The first thing that we did was we moved this pasture pen onto a new patch of grass and um, we filled up the waterer and now all that water is draining down into that bell, that orange bell, and filling up. And uh, we're gonna make sure that that's working properly before we do anything else. You don't need to fill it up, fill that one up the rest of the way. That water's for the next pasture pen, son. Oh, I just filled it on the tank. It's not for the rest of it. Oh, okay. Well, you're gonna need to take that back up to the um, spigot and fill it up all the way for the next pasture pen because we gotta do two. All right, so we're ready to gather up all the chicks. The way our brooder works, they have an indoor area, and then when they're big enough, they have an outdoor area. And um, right now, they know that some food is coming, and that's how we lure them all outside. Um, so we're going to put some food out here for them and gently pick them all up and put them into the crates and then take them down to their new pasture pen. All right, we've got all the chicks loaded into the crates. They're a little bit stressed out right now because nobody likes being grabbed. But they've got plenty of room in here to move around. And mostly they just lay down and take comfort with each other. And they're fine. Nobody's hurt. And now the kids are going to lift this up and Let's take it out of our outdoor brooder for me. And then they will go to their pasture pen. There you go. You got it? There you go. Gentle lift, don't slide. There you go. So the reason we don't slide them across is because sometimes their toes stick out from the bottom and we don't want their toes or their feet to get damaged while we're moving them. All right, so we've got all the chicks out of the brooder. They're a little bit larger than I would have liked. We should have taken them out probably last weekend, um, but they were just a little bit too small then. Now they're good. They're a good size, so it'll be fine. They're out here eating grass. They are chowing down on their non-GMO feed. They're figuring out where the waterer is and what their new boundaries are within the chicken crates, uh, within the tra chicken tractors. So instead of conventional longhouse chicken farming. These are pasture raised chickens. They are protected from the elements and they're protected from predators. And they get lots of sunshine. They get protection from the sun. They get lots of green grass and bugs. And let me tell you, I'm shaking off the flies and the grasshoppers right now. We've got lots of bugs in our grass, which is a sign of healthy soil. We like that. We don't use any pesticides to get rid of the bugs. So it's a good thing. So anyways, our chicks are out. They're going to be out here for a few weeks, probably, I would say, until almost the end, maybe the middle of August, and then they'll be butchered. They'll be full size, and we'll have a variety of sizes and weights, and um, that's where your chicken comes from when you buy it from Skyview Acres. Thanks for watching. Uh, click the subscribe button down below, and we'll let you know when we have another video.